What a way to end the 2022 Junior GP season. And I'm going to tell you now, we've got more drama coming. Wait for it. This is in the race. Marcos Ruda with a massive high side. He'd come through from the third row. So amazing start from him, but out before the first sector. Collision with Rowena and Via getting her elbows out. That was earlier on in the race. So it was gloves off right from the start. Almanza, the number 22 in third. Filippo Farioli was right in the mix as well. Jose Antonio Rueda, despite in the end finishing off the rostrum, was leading at different points. The champion proving why he is number one for 2022. Luca Lanetta was the man on the move. He put aside some of his rivals. Harrison Boy lighting up the rear end, coming through turn 11. Whilst it was Almanzo who put this move on via. And then as the two battled, it was going all the way to the end. Rueda came through. Soon enough, it would be Lanetta who came on charging through the number 58, doing a fantastic job to put himself in a good position. Via was in the podium positions as he and Rueda continued to swap places. Lanetta trying to take the opportunity and doing so, so often, so strong in the final corner. Farioli went to hit the front whilst Harrison Voigt was just behind, trying to keep it all under control and stay in the top six. Down into the final corner, Lanetta got ahead of Via and then did him on the brakes into turn one. But wait for this, the two collided on the exit as they went for the same line into turn two. Via on the floor, and that was that. There was also an oil spillage which took out David Almanza, Teo Gordon and a few other riders. This was Almanza, just out on the oil. For that, the red flag was shown, and after a little bit of confusion, David Almanza taking a first win in the class, a second podium, just his second win in the entire...